it should be obvious to all of us that the evil one is trying to gain more and more authority in this world. Those of you who have known me for many years will remember that from the very beginning of my episcopacy. I talked about how the devil is the prince of this world in the words of our Savior himself, and that it's a demon-infested world. And in many ways, the demons were hiding behind the walls, so to speak, but now they are in public display and very obvious. And a few years ago, many people would have thought, no way. There's no way that things would ever get this bad. But things are pretty bad. And it's definitely a great concern. We see that the demons who are trying to hide themselves have now become more public. And it's a matter of great concern for many of us. One of the means by which the evil demons are trying to infiltrate the heart of the Christian is, of course, through the mind, is um, the programs, the educational programs that people are um, studying in school. And so it's important for us to learn how to protect our children from the influence of the evil spirits who are now running wild throughout the world and unfortunately here in America perhaps more so in Canada uh, we need to find a way to protect our children first and foremost it needs to start at home with holiness of life that I think has the strongest the strongest influence because there's grace behind it but not too far from that is uh, we need to be able to educate our children so we do have this opportunity with the st. John of Damascus educational initiative I think that our faith will need to look into that a little more because it could be a great solution for a lot of people I'm going to forward you to Metropolitan Moses video and I'm endorsing his endorsement um, of the St. John of Damascus Educational Initiative. Please take it seriously, and if you can, please donate towards this, uh, to the, towards the initiative, because there are a number of students who want to be educated in the initiative, but they just don't have the money for it. And there is a whole system. We have staff and there are bills to pay and so even if you don't have children to uh, to bring to the school at least it would be good if you can offer something for the sake of protecting our children and for the sake of educating our children so please consider giving a donation to the saint john of damascus educational initiative everything that you do for the church will be written in paradise and this is a worthy cause and very important in our days and perhaps even critical and uh, it's, it's a good opportunity once again I say it's a good opportunity for parents to have their children educated in a more uh, sane way in a spiritual way and God bless you